I want to talk about my first experience with mental illness and this goes back uh, many years ago, uh, 15 or 17 years ago back in time. Uh, I was over at a friend's place um, and my friend told me uh, about this um, education that uh, uh, was gonna happen uh, and I made like a I made like a little joke, the way I always do. Nothing, nothing to poke at uh, the uh, the um, educating itself, but just like a random, you know, word play on words. And my friend reacted, and there was a little bit of screaming in the kitchen, um, and uh, the significant others. When I came out, was like. I know. And then we took a walk together, uh, all of us in the group, and I felt like this situation had been become, you know, it was probably, I thought it was something that happened before, and I, I kind of just like, you know, I was a drop that tipped over uh, at the very end. And then, you know, we said goodbye as we were leaving, but then the next day, I get a text from my friend saying, I never thought that someone like you could ever hurt me. I am so disappointed in you. And I sat there in the car and my girlfriend, who also read it, who was also there, she we were like we were like we we didn't understand a thing. Like we we, we were ju just totally we, we couldn't understand at all what had happened. And obviously uh, back in those days, you know, 15, 16 years ago topic of mental illness was not something that was widely discussed you know because there was there was hardly social media uh, uh, or uh, you know debates about it but now afterwards after the rise of you know the rise of the awareness of different types of mental illnesses uh, it kind of makes sense to me but that event that happening that evening burned me so much because I've always relied on myself being someone that people can lean on. I talked about this before, uh, but that just threw me off completely. So it was like I couldn't, I couldn't trust my own instinct. Uh, I couldn't trust, you know, other people because I mean, this was a friend that I've had for a couple of years and we've been part of a bigger group where there had been uh, falling out, but it was just like I couldn't understand uh, because back then and even to a certain point now I often think uh, in logic I use logic to understand the world well at the same time I'm a very emotional uh, person who often lives in a dream world I you know I am Bastian I am Bastian I create uh, the never-ending story but that night was just like and now, many years ago, or many years after, uh, you know, when we are in um, in a higher awareness of mental illness and how it can take form and how it can be, I can sort of understand what happened. But at the same time, the fact that that text came the day after, it wasn't like something, as I felt, something that was like reactive, but it actually happened the day after. That just totally threw me off and now you know years have gone and I'm sitting here in front of a camera talking about these things I even started this channel with the sole purpose of talking about things that you know happens in here and here uh, and trying to make sense of the world through the words I say and the comments I get and the messages I receive and the emails I get so yeah, that was my first ever experience with any form, uh, to my knowledge, of mental illness. And I'd love to hear uh, your experience. When did you first come in contact with mental illness? It can be someone else or it can be even you know, yourself. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And how do you feel that the, the discussion about mental illness is now well, going? Uh, are we talking about it in a in a proper way? Uh, do we still do we still treat people with mental illnesses as you know 
the way we used to, someone who was weak, someone we needed to hide away. Uh, the fact that we did that, and we still do that, is just... Yeah, it hurts. It hurts to read about it, it hurts to see it, it hurts to care. Because that's what I do. I care. And I want to care. I never want to be a person who stops caring about things like this. Never. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs>